Dr. King, you've been the president of Federal Technical Community College for over 10 years. And one of the first things that people ask us when they're moving into our area is how are your schools? Well, we're excited to talk about that because there are a lot of great things happening in Fayetteville and Cumberland County and really in this region at large. When you really stop and think about it, what we actually have is a situation where we have a com community college. It serves about 40,000 people a year wow. uh, in a wide variety of programs, over 200 programs. Some of them are college transfer oriented. Some of them are uh, in the realm of technology to where they go directly to the workplace. And so it gives us an opportunity to do a lot of good things. We're ranked third in the state of North Carolina out of 58 community colleges. And um, we're third largest community college in North Carolina. We follow Raleigh, uh, Charlotte, and then uh, we're number three. And so uh, we take great pride in providing services to people in a wide variety of uh, ways in which we're very successful at it. Well, I know one of your favorite quotes that I love about you is providing solutions for people looking for hope. How do you achieve that? Well, first of all, you've got to have a passion and a love for what you do. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate to say we have about 1,500 employees full and part time uh, here that represent our faculty and staff and our administrators. And with our purpose is to serve the students of this community and uh, do the best we can possibly do in helping them move to whatever hope or whatever dream that they have. Uh, we're dream providers. I mean, we, we help stimulate dreams sometimes, but at the same time, we help make good on those dreams uh, if they're willing to do the work that uh, it takes to be successful. And so, uh, a number of years ago, we looked at a, a theme that said, you know, our job is creating success in the North Carolina Community College system and it's hope, opportunity, and jobs. And we all know that uh, unless you have hope, uh, you'll never pursue a dream. Unless there are opportunities at the end of that effort, uh, you're never willing to put in the effort to make it happen. And then at the end of the day, regardless of whether you become a medical doctor or you become an automotive mechanic or you become a, an engineer or a teacher or a president somewhere, uh, there, there's got to be genuine opportunity, real time for real people in real places. Well, Dr. Larry, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to keep it real. This place is cool. I, I'm looking around in this media room, TV production room, and you have so many things that people have no clue you have. Tell us some of the cool programs that you offer or your uh, degrees that you offer like this. This is crazy cool. Uh, we have a great program in graphic design. Uh, it's not just theoretical, they go out and have to actually do it. And that, I think that's one of the things yeah. that sets us apart from a lot of others is that we'll do the theoretical and we'll do the, the cognitive, but at the end of the day, unless you can do something that matters. Hands on. It's gotta be hands on. You've got to demonstrate that you know what you're talking about. And so we have things that uh, in entertainment uh, that can lead people to their dreams. We have people that are doing simulation and gaming right now. Uh, which is, uh, you know, this part of the United States is, is wildly successful, connected to the people in the uh, Research Triangle Park and what our people are doing here. And those people go to work or they start their own business or they do things. We work with defense contractors and in, in internships on, on, on doing this kind of work. So it's all, it's all a, that hands-on element, that heart, the mind, and the hands yeah. coming together to matter. And so I could go on and on, but I will tell you this. I have seen this, I've participated in it since I've been here. People are extraordinarily well uh, welcoming here. And a person that will come and become engaged in this community and participate in this community will be the ones who will love this community. Mm -hmm. That's what gets people here, that's exactly. what keeps people here. These people out of the military could go anywhere they want to go. And uh, I'm, I'm telling you, they stay here because what they learn when they get right. here is a lot different than the stereotype. It's an interconnected method by which people, regardless of their stage in life, regardless of their circumstances, if they're willing to work, invest in themselves, and do it as we ask them to do, and respond to the stimulation that we provide and the education, the future right. is extraordinarily bright for them. Well, That's I my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm a product of the North Carolina school systems and I can proudly say that this community has given me a lot. People have shored me up and great people like yourself that has kind of gingerly brought me along and showed me the way. So I'm eternally grateful for everything that this state, this community, and, uh, and especially you, Larry. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you, you so for much. everything, my man. Appreciate you.
all this and after a while, you know? <laughs> it takes me a while. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh.